everyone. Um, I just wanted to pop on. I've got a couple of finished items and uh, a work in progress. Um, and one of them is a present for my friend's little boy. So, little, Miss Tobin's age. Um, so I'm going to wrap that up in a minute and take it to school. So he's got it to open tomorrow morning. Uh, the kids finish school tomorrow. It's it's my friend's kid's birthday tomorrow. Uh, they finish tomorrow for Easter. So they're off for my birthday, which is Friday. So I've booked the day off to, uh, to look after them. But, you know, who doesn't like being at home on the birthday? So the present I've made for him, you probably, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you probably have seen this. Do I think I posted a picture of him? Uh, it's I think the pattern's called Baby Dinosaur. It's Baby Yoshi Yoshi. Oh my gosh, how super cute! Lots of bits. This pattern. I'd not done an amigurumi for a while, and I thought, oh, I'll make one. It wasn't particularly with um, my friend's boy in mind, um, but it just like Mario. I've made him a Mario and Luigi. Probably a mushroom, I think. And the last couple of years, I've done him Angry Birds. But I made this and thought, this is cute. This is for him. He's going to be eight. Um, so he's one of the younger ones in his year. Because Tobin's nine in, in nine. In what, five months? And Callum's only just turning eight. But, you know, the way the, the school year works. I think kids right up until end of July birthdays are in the same class as Tobin, whose birthday is in September. So that's why Jack's one of the young ones. He's sort of four years, three months when he started school. Whereas Tobin was almost five, so. Anyway, very long-winded. It's a free pattern. I will find it and link it. So he's very cute. Good pattern. Uh, just like I say, lots of bits, but that's not their fault. That's that's just how it is. So that's him. I'll get him um, wrapped up. And then this is the shawl. I can't really you know. I'm sorry if I'm a bit croaky and stuff. I've had a cold uh, all of last week. Um, and it got really bad sort of Thursday for Friday. Um, <clears throat> and it's gone for the most part. It's just I've got a bit of a croaky throat. So this is the shawl I was working on last time. Um, it has oh, it's sort of bunched up. Oh, it, does, it is curling up. So I need to block it um, and see if I can stretch this out a bit. It said, like keep checking when you start, that it lays flat. And obviously it did, but then you're adding in, you're adding in that many more stitches. Like it started to bunch up a bit, but I will block it and see where we get with it because it's cotton. Um, so I like the shape of it. I'll wrap it around so it just needs to be blocked a bit more and we'll, we'll see how it goes but I really like it it is quite I haven't weighed it I did use quite a few balls of the wool that Amy sent me Hi, Amy um it does split a bit this yarn what is it um is it drops cotton recycle or cotton for you or I love cotton or something like that um but yeah I like the colour I love this bit that section love it so it's on my um list of things to do uh, to get it blocked but we've had a bit hit and miss weather it's been fairly nice and by the time i thought i should wash that shawl and block it it's not looked so nice so and i don't want to it's gonna be it will probably disagree with the washer when i try and get it to give it a bit of a spin it will probably say it's too heavy I'm like nope not spinning that my washer has attitude with spinning things. If it's not like loaded, if it you know thinks it's not loaded right or it's too heavy, it just flat refuses to spin. So you have to wait. And... Anyway, sorry, bath. Um, and then my ripple blanket has gone away. It's just upstairs. I'm not working it later in the year. I don't think I'll rip it back. Cause it's got too many colours in there. You know, just one row. But it'll it'll wait. It'll wait. Um, so I decided to make another another ring of change blanket for my sister, for the other sister this time. So I'm doing quite well. It doesn't seem like I've been doing it for that long. I probably have, but um, I'm all the way up to crocodile stitches. 
half start the second row. Where's my second row? Yeah, so the second row is there. You work inwards on these. So you set all the framework up for the crocodile stitches and then work them that way down. And uh, it's not the way you normally do crocodile stitch because if you did it the normal way, they'd all face the in face towards the centre of the blanket and you didn't want them to. So this is the Rings of Change pattern by Frank O. Randall. I've linked it before, but I'll link it again uh, below. You can get the free pattern up to row 40 something. These are rows 50 to 54. So I'm, I'm steaming away. Um, just gonna keep going. I want to make it bigger than the one I made at Christmas for Paul's Gran. Um, I did gift that shawl I was working on, the Down the Rabbit Hole shawl, I gifted it to Paul's Gran and she likes it. So, um, Yeah, quick mention on that, the pattern, I'm sure most of you know, but the pattern by Erin, uh, give me on 418, all the proceeds go to her nephew who is, uh, you know, poorly at the moment and has got, you know, Gonna have a lot of medical expenses so if you haven't already got it um, please go and get it and help support him um, there's a link on the pattern I believe on the Ravelry, Ravelry, Ravelry page as well that links to um, Erin's sister's blog uh, with all the details about what he's going through bless him so yeah please support her if you can just got a reminder to wrap that present on my phone uh, on my watch you want my birthday present early um, so it's a smart watch that I get all my phone notifications through. Can't tell I have a techie boyfriend. <sighs> Distraction. Anyway, yes. So it's getting quite big, um, but I want to see how far I can go. I've got four balls of this is um, ice magic light. I was thinking magic baby. It's not magic light. Um, so I'm just going to go as far as I can, and the cream is the uh, cream cone of mystery, or as Paul very rudely called it the other day, your string. String? I said some swear words at him. String? Rudeness. So, yes, I love it. Um, at some point I'll make myself one of these, I'm sure. But yep, yeah, so I'm just plugging along with that. I haven't got anything else planned. Um... Which is good because nothing's really popped into my head. But I am kind of getting that itching that I want to buy wool. Don't know what for. If I <laughs> keep filling up like the um, with the ice cakes, I'm like, ah, I quite like the colour. That this is like a navy and brown one. Um, sounds great, doesn't it? But um, it looks so lovely, and I keep putting it in the car. And I'm like, no, wait, for your birthday money. Wait. I think wool needs to be purchased. Tobin said that on our day off uh, for my birthday. Mum, we should go wool shopping and not tell Dad. I was like, that sounds fun. And Jack's going, I don't like not telling Dad things. I'm sure his silence could be bought. <laughs> Here's a burger, Jack. Shh. <laughs> it's good that he's honest. It is. Just like don't snitch on me if I buy wool. I, I tell Paul anyway, because I just get the look of, you don't need any more. I haven't bought any for, well, since I bought the Maypole. Um, which I want to get some more colours out and do something else with, because it's very pretty. I keep seeing the, the like, tops Jan's making with it. I'm like, I should make, I should do it, I should make a top. Uh, we'll see. Okay then. So, yeah. I'm trying to get a bit of crocheting every day and I'm still going to the gym pretty much every day. I had to have two days off last week because I was not well. I was not happy. I tried to just ignore it and keep going to the gym. I'm like, I'll be fine. I can blow my nose while I'm on the treadmill. And then I <laughs> sneezed on the treadmill and on the um, elliptical, like the cross trainer. And they've got wipes um, to like wipe down the machine. I don't really bother because take a towel, you know, and wipe it down. I should perhaps, you know, give it a proper, like, antibacterial wipe down because I'm like, it's snotting on it. I thought, oh, I'm so sorry. But I, it, 
I should get extra, I should burn double calories for getting one meal, but I didn't. So, yes, so it's all going well. Uh, I've lost 19 pounds since Christmas, which is almost what? In English, about a stone and a half, almost. I think I'm two pounds off a stone and a half. How long it will last, I don't know, but you know, while I'm still uh, willing, I will go. Um, so yes, I hope everybody is okay. I doubt very much I'll be back before Easter, so if you celebrate, have a nice Easter. Uh, if you're getting any time off and you don't celebrate, have a good time. Um, yeah, so I will speak to you all soon. Bye.